Welcome to a new vlog. So today, as I'm filming this, and throughout this week, we are moving out of this apartment. And I'm not going far, I'm actually just staying in the same complex area, and I'm just moving upstairs. And the only difference between this apartment and my new one is vaulted ceilings in the living room kitchen area, a ceiling fan with an extra ceiling light in the living room, because right now we only have like an extra lamp and like these kitchen lights. It's the same layout, same square footage, except the extra window is in the living room. My kitchen is gonna be on that side now, and my living room is gonna be on this side. I was supposed to work today. We got back from our trip a few days ago. Um, I was gonna work five days this week. Usually I work four, and they didn't need me today. So I'm gonna spend all day Trying to get caught up because we've been so tired. We got the keys to our new apartment the day we got back from our trip from Florida, which was so fun. By the way, we really want to move there. I I don't know. We'll see. Right now, I'm going to be disassembling the bed. I already did some laundry, took some stuff upstairs. And now we're tackling this. And my boyfriend helped me move the bed upstairs this morning. So we started to take care of that. downstairs and I feel like this lighting is gonna help out a lot in terms of mood and hello content like love it I didn't remove everything from the walls yet because I still have like hooks there, mirror here, and I have to remove all of this. And then this is just the start of it. Oh, and then I took the privacy screens off of the bedroom window. It's a little blurry, but way over there. And then I took it off this one as well. Checking in, I'm taking a little break. It's a really bad angle, but. I got food. So we got Burger King today. This is gonna be a realistic on the go lunch. Nothing bougie, just a Whopper. I'm really about to use my Apple card to push out the water. I don't know if you've ever applied one of these. Well, first you have to cut it and size it, but you spray water on the window and then and then you just kind of squeeze out the water and it's there until you take it off again. And here I am reapplying it because thank God the windows are exactly the same size from downstairs to upstairs. So it works out, so I don't have to rebuy all of this. Here's what it looks like after I do this for many reasons. Obviously you guys know privacy from anyone outside looking in so that way I can have the most light in my space as possible without anyone being nosy. These are a really good idea if you have open windows in maybe like a walkway, for example, because like right here is a pathway um, and there's like some stairs and stuff. So. The biggest reason why I do it, I don't want people peeking in here, like if I'm being honest, I don't want to make eye contact with my neighbor. Oh, 
Why are you patting it? <laughs> Don't judge my teriyaki. Mm -hmm. You wanna cheers my chicken? Cheers. Cheers. Girl, take the potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> she hits it one time. <laughs> Do you like it, Mimi? Wow, Mimi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mimi. No. What you gonna do? I'll just show you a pause. Yes, pause. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a windmill right here. It's a mess inside. We got Chipotle and some and some drinky drink. While you're doing that, I'm gonna show I'm gonna show the vlog the salsa thing. So with whatever you order, a bowl or a burrito, this is my favorite. I used to work at Chipotle like years ago, like seven years ago. Whether you want more sour cream or more hot sauce, it's up to you. I usually like more sour cream, and then you shake it up. I don't know if you guys can see, but it looks like this this one's extra runny for some reason i don't know why i usually don't get sauce on my burrito and i like to pour it as i eat it or i used to get a bowl and i'd pour it over and mix it and eat it as i go she has so many hits this guy right here look at him I was reaching for the napkin. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Clean up that salt and pass me another one, please. So sorry. You made me a playlist? Should I start from the beginning or? Sure. Now connected to Wonder's iPhone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what?
Valentine's Day, baby. We're gonna paint. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm excited. Hi, just checking in. Um, it's a new day. I am in the middle of cleaning my entire apartment and organizing it. No, baby, this no, this is my soup. She thinks it's wet food. Baby, I'm sorry. I don't have a whole lot of food, so I'm <laughs> I'm heating up this soup. It's really good, by the way. It's the plant-based chili white bean verde by Pacific Foods. It's really good. I love putting like fresh lime in it. You can eat it with like tortilla chips and a little fresh cilantro or like. You know, if you want to add chicken to it, it's a really good base. But like, I'm in my zone. I've been cleaning, a little update, just kind of working on the books. But otherwise, cleaned off the entire kitchen counter, um, over here as well. All of this needs to be hung up on the walls and drilled back in. I also cleaned up the entire bathroom. I drilled in my little Alexa. I hung up this little picture frame right here above the towels. Um, I organized this a little bit. I think I can work on it more later on. I normally drink the sugar-free, and I usually get the, like the Red Bull flavor drinks uh, with half and half. But I've been trying to drink less of them. We have a long day tomorrow. Today is only Thursday. I have like four days off. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But I am mostly trying to focus on cleaning all of this mess so that I can focus on editing like my YouTube videos and getting back in the rhythm of that. And just overall content and trying to, you know, sell a lot of the clothes that I have just laying around here in bins. I have so much stuff to sell. But this clutter is just not, oh my god, this is hot. Okay, hold on. This clutter isn't helping, I'll tell you that. Amen. Okay, okay, back to scheduled programming. I had a really good experience recently with my Alaska mileage card, whatever you want to call it, it's the credit card that they have through Bank of America, although I don't like Bank of America, but I have that specifically because of Alaska Airlines. When we went to Florida, I only paid $12 round trip. That's it. Whatever airline you fly, make sure you have a credit card or you sign up for like mileage points and stuff because it honestly is so worth it. And stick to that one airline too because that's how you're gonna rack up points, rack up mileage, cash back, um, blah, blah, blah. And then that way your flights are super cheap, free, or they have really good deals. Um, that they like to offer so I'm just saying having the Alaska Airlines mileage credit card really helped out um, and he had like 20% off the purchases in flight it's amazing are you recording? yes Cross it off. 
Yep. Yeah. All we need is red chili flakes. I'm being honest, the middle one. The middle one? California. New Jersey. New Jersey? <laughs> New Jersey? This one? Ohio. Goddamn Ohio. There's a cornstarch shortage. I mean, they fell on the floor. I feel like we should get new ones, but the, the one we could not find. This one didn't fall on the floor. This one's hanging on for dear life. I'm gonna save you. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna keep this guy. It's a lucky charm. <laughs> oh. Y'all see the flowers he made me? <laughs> <laughs> he took these little, what are these, any little fillers? We took them out of another bouquet. And it was on reduced price of $5.99. Isn't it cute? I like white and green, it's so cute. I need to wash my bags. They're so dirty. This one's my favorite one. Like one of the most random things in this haul is the gum. I don't know. We were gone in Florida forever, so we had to restock everything. As you can see here, the fish are low. How do you pronounce it? Got the cozy fit on. BB, we got cookies. You want cookies? <coughs> Yummy. You want some milk? I don't even know which one I want first. We cheers everything we eat and drink. Cheers. cheers. <laughs> oh wow. Let me try mine. That's a good cookie. It's like brownies. You know. I hit my elbow earlier and then you hit yours. <laughs> <laughs> I was forgetting you're recording. <laughs> it's okay, I can edit it out. Or I can leave it in. <laughs> Leave it in. That's what you said. Marina. <laughs> <laughs> I get that humor from my mother. I hope you know. Yeah, mama. What? What the hell is that supposed to be? <laughs> I said your mama. Yeah, but you had some thought. She's funny. My mom's funny? Yeah. Hmm. Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> she's good looking too. More milk. The first years of my life, I grew up on a cow farm. He's like, it's a cow farm. <laughs> Finish it. It's gonna be cow that. <laughs> Did you know cow tipping is a real thing? Yes. I think I learned what cow tipping was through cars. When Mater and oh. another guy, yeah. Just sneak up in front of them and then honk. And they do the rest. I didn't even make the connection there. The tractors? Yeah. Out in the field. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Good morning. I look crazy. I'm listening to a podcast right now. So we reached Saturday. I'm just gonna be real with you guys. Like we've been trying to get back in the gym all week and like something keeps coming up. So I think it's just, you know, we're being challenged. My hair right there is really bothering me. My boyfriend got called in to work today. So there's that. I'm gonna take my vitamin C. I usually do that like first thing in the morning. I got this juice called the morning blend. There's some papaya, apple, pineapple, and orange. And I don't know, it looks pretty good. So, I want to start trying this juice for my morning, <laughs> like, shot to put this vitamin C in. 
and I've had dark circles ever since I was little and so I've been taking vitamin C not only for my immunity um but mostly because I heard that it helps with yes wrinkles but dark circles so we're working on it Salsa and all the little, little, little cups. Uh huh. And then one of the green cups, I was like trying to close it, and it like, flew, like launched out my hand, and then fell on the table and fucking splat. Oh. I cleaned as much as I could, but I just walked out. <laughs> <laughs> I filmed a little TJ Maxx haul for my TikTok. Okay, update. I'm making dinner, been making dinner for a while, kind of late. Um, making vegetarian, or you want to call them vegan tacos, as long as you don't do no sheep and dairy. But you guys have to try this. Eventually, maybe I'll make a, like a video about it. But we have chorizo, chorizo from Trader Joe's as the protein mashed potatoes basically <laughs> and it sauteed onions on all the toppings you're gonna need these little peppers we got some cilantro and rice i'll show you guys when everything's assembled but these tacos would be amazing and the boo kind of went out and got some sour cream because we forgot sour cream and i have mexican cheese in the fridge with a salsa as well it's avocado green salsa and then here's what everything looks like mix it you need to open your own restaurant girl Ooh, so sweet. It looks really yummy. Your drink mix like pulls it all together. I feel like. <laughs> Say <your> prayers. <laughs> okay, so I put you guys in my cabinet. I wanted to show you guys a purchase I've made. I've been looking for a really good sleep mask that I could invest in. Something that was preferably on the silk side so it wouldn't damage my hair. And I found this brand. It was really pricey. I think it's like retail $75. The brand is called Drowsy Sleep Co. So I went on Macari and I, you know me, I love to buy second hand. I think it was like $45 like the girl was trying to resell it for. I think I made an offer of like $39, I don't remember. But I paid a whole lot less than I would have if I bought this full price. I have one from Target that I love, but I decided to kind of retire from that one. I gave it to my boyfriend so he can use it and because he... He really likes it. It really helps with deep sleep. We've never slept with one. I know they're a little frustrating sometimes because they just fall off. And this is a big reason why I chose this one and I'll explain why. It has like this like chart of different things. You guys want to pause and read that? I'm going to show you guys the inside of the box too. It's pretty cool. And I have the door shut because my boyfriend, he's, he's recording a song right now. So I have to kind of separate myself <laughs> so I'm not too noisy. Um, but it says, so give me some good, good loving. So it's just like the care. Uh, the eye mask the box is really pretty by the way it like has this glow and shimmer to it this kind of just talks about the product i'll kind of do an overview clip of like what everything says and then i'll show you guys so this is what it looks like she's huge for an eye mask this is bigger than your average eye mask whatever materials they use for like the velcro it's not your average one it feels really good quality so this one is actually meant to be completely blackout it's supposed to go around your ears too so it kind of helps. I feel like it looks so weird. Probably. I don't know. I probably look like a dwarf. But it's supposed to like kind of muffle out the sound. Check it out. My cat's trying to get in the door. Baby. Baby. Come on. Come here. Anyway. 
so that's the point of this some people sleep with like earplugs and ideally i don't want to do that i don't know it kind of seems a little dangerous and also i'd want to be able to let you hear just in case of an emergency i mainly wanted to invest in this because one of the things on the list as a flight attendant is getting a good eye mask and that's because as a flight attendant you could have a red eye and then have to you know catch up on your sleep like during the day and so bb you cannot go in there he's recording i like this kind of like two-in-one combo of eye mask and kind of muffling out sound not completely blocking it it is sunday pretty much kind of been a busy weekend in terms of just around my apartment and nothing really exciting going on but uh, I will definitely bring you guys along for more adventures or anything fun we're up to. That pretty much wraps up this week's vlog. She won't leave you alone. <laughs> she keeps, this is her like fourth time trying to get in here. She just let herself in right now. Aww. I know, she misses you. So anyway, um, it pretty much wraps up this week's vlog, week in my life. And yeah, I'm excited to film some more and you guys along for some flight attendant journeys like that's gonna be fun like i have i'm definitely gonna film like maybe hopefully during my flight attendant training i know i'll be probably stressed but i'll bring it along anyway okay so i'm gonna go and good night i'll see you guys in the next vlog